What up? It's your boy, King Dad 225 coming at you with another... You know what? This will be my first movie review. I said I was going to start doing movie reviews, TV show reviews, since, you know what I'm saying? I watch so much TV shows, movies. You know, I'm going to make another channel. I'm going to post this on my main channel, but I'm going to make me a, a, a movie reviewing channel. So this will be the first Movie review, King Dow movie review. So hit that like, subscribe, become part of Kingdom. Man, is I felt like it was one hundred percent appropriate for this to be the first movie I review. Cause despite it all, I love me some Tyler Perry. I I fuck with him tough. I respect his hustle. Love that man. The fact that he from Louisiana, double up. Gotta always show support. But let me tell you something. I'm sorry, Tyler. As much as I fuck with you, this movie trash. Full spoiler review. Spoiler alert for the review. Listen, man. I know my community, especially the males in this community, have issues with Tyler Perry because he always pandered the women. And I gotta tell you, bro. <sighs> I thought, you know, I thought we made progress because you retired, my dear. And ironically, I have lesser issue with him wearing a dress than the majority of the black men in my community. Shit, because if you look at Hollywood overall, it ain't, it don't matter what color he is. A lot of men put on the dress. It's just fucking acting. You know what I'm saying? I don't really have no problem with that. The white man put on dress, but they got men out here mad because Tyler Perry wearing a dress. But you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I'm saying? What was the name? Dustin Hoffman was in Tootsie. He played Tootsie. Got a lot of men wore dresses. That's not my issue. My issue with this shit, this almost some red pill shit, this Tyler Perry always making men look like shit. Like, goddamn, Tyler. Like, come on, bro. Like, I'm so sick of this shit, man. And I don't, don't get me wrong. He threw us a couple bones there night. By uh, making women look like shit in certain movies, what that was. Uh, one man was cheating on her, her temptation, and she caught that that, that that package. You know, and the man lived happily ever after. Like, bro, I'm tired of this shit, Tyler. I'm tired of making you making me look like shit. You know what I'm saying? So in this film, it's about a a, a young man who graduated. It's a homecoming. All the whole family coming to celebrate him graduating from college. Well, the issue I have with is the man, the, the young man's father divorced his mother, right? And I'll tell you that, you ain't shit, you ain't shit. The whole thing, I ain't say what the man did. And don't get me wrong, it was wrong for him to not only divorce the mama. I don't know why he, they ain't say he hit her, or abused her, or cheated on her, none of that. They just said there was divorce. And he ended up getting engaged to her best friend. The whole movie. He ain't shit. He ain't this. He ain't this. He ain't shit. He ain't this. That's that's how they coming. Like, okay, I can see why they upset. But goddamn, let it let it go. But then the same young man who graduating, mama had her own secret. She was having relations with his friend. His age and kept it a secret. But you know what they were saying in the movie about that? Oh, girl, it's you. You know what I'm saying? It's time. You done. Stella got our groove back, girl. Congratulations. So, in the film, the daddy ain't shit because he couldn't be with the, 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 the mother. But the mama is congratulated for fucking her son's friend. And then end up getting engaged to the son's friend? What the? Bro! My nigga, if this ain't the biggest theme, and I know that's your audience, I fuck with Tyler Perry. I'm a former bootleg. When I tell you that's the hottest selling ticket in the hood sometime, we out here selling moves, former bootlegger. I, 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 I keep telling this to people so many times, so many years, for so long. If it wasn't for Motherfuckers like me in the hood, bootlegging Tyler Perry shit. 
Tyler Perry would have been six, seven times big now. That's how much his shit selling the hood. So I fuck with you, bro. I really fuck with the fact that you from lose out. But Tyler Perry, you need to stop this, bro. You need to stop this, bro. You need to stop pandering on this some church shit to women, big up in they they wrongs. And always comes. That's all a man did was divorce his wife in the whole movie. He is a grade A piece of shit. But the mama, I got real issue with that. But the mama can be round here sexing up her son's friend for three years without telling nobody. But it's like, you go, girl. You deserve that. What? And it's, oh, mom, I forgive you. And we live happily ever after. Man, the characters wasn't in depth. It wasn't that damn funny. They had a few laughs in here and there. It's just Tyler. If you're going to come back, it's like if Jay-Z came out of retirement, he came not with the classics he came with, but trash albums. I expected better from you. If you're going to bring this shit out of retirement because you were you were tired of because you got tired of, you know what I'm saying, how the community felt about you wearing a dress, but you brought it back for the dollars. Of course, I ain't mad at that. But if you're going to come back and make these kind of films, Tyler Perry, I swear I don't need you out here. Because the world says black men ain't shit enough. I don't need you out here making the black man the villain in all your movies. Please stop that, bro. You a black man, bro. You black. You black. Cut that shit out. Man, that shit made me so mad, bro. I came, I had to stop the movie. Like, I got to the last 20 minutes. I'm like, yeah, I can't. I can't take this shit no more. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Tyler. I love you. I fuck with you. You a Louisiana boy. I support everybody in Louisiana. But I can't, I ain't gonna sit here and just sit here and like, like black people need to stop perpetuating the shit. Oh, but we go through, we really go through it. Bro, you know how many good black men out there? That y'all always got a spotlight. The 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 few fucked up niggas. And for this man, only transgression was to be divorced to a, his wife. He didn't cheat on her. He didn't, I'm going to keep reading it right now. He didn't cheat on her. He didn't hit her. He didn't steal from her. They got a divorce. And the worst that he did was he won in divorce. But she, I'm going to keep saying it. She can have sex with her son's friend. Everybody love it, and it's all forgiven. Tyler, do better than that. Please. Well, this is your boy, King Dad 225 with his first movie review. There's going to be a whole lot more to come on this. So hit that like, subscribe, become part of the king. God damn, Tyler.